let's go into the less common commands that you might be using. One is creating a keyboard shortcut. So let's say I have a tag for new, that these are things that I tag that I want to make sure that I sort into various bins later. But I wanna have a super short shortcut, a quick way for adding that new tag. Let's do Command K. Now we bring up the command that we want. And so add tag. Before we select it, we hit, instead of Command K, Command Shift K. And that's going to, now it says add tag new. This is what we're recording a keyboard shortcut for. So in order to create a keyboard shortcut using the command line, ironically, you need a keyboard shortcut, which Command Shift K. And what do I want this keyboard shortcut to be? Let's say Command Shift N. I like that for new. Okay, save. And now I don't even need to do anything more in the command line at that point. If I hit Command Shift N, boom, it's tagged as new right there. What if I want to open the settings? You can do Command K, bring up the command line, open. There's workspace, search, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I don't see it on this first row. Let's settings. There it is. There's a lot of things that you can adjust to whatever you want it to be. Notice private keyboard shortcuts. I just created that command shift N shortcut. And this is where I can access it on my own and either delete it, record a new shortcut, whatever I want. Now let's focus on super tags in particular. For super tags, command K, you can add them right here add tag, let's say tool. Okay. I can also remove a tag, remove tag tool. I can also create tags. Say we want a tag called create. Let's just bring up all of the tags. Make sure you use convert, not create, or just type in tag like I did and you'll find it. Now I've created a super tag called create. There's also create based on. What do I mean when I say that? This is what I mean. So let's do test tag. And then I, I just want to kind of think things out. So I've got a field, field one, okay, uh, another one. I, th I know that I'm gonna want a field too, okay? Also, I want a place for notes. I know that I'm gonna want these things. And field one, I'm gonna want it to be an instance tag. Okay, this is looking pretty good. This is good enough that I wanna turn this into a tag now. Create super tag based on this. This is, this is pretty cool, in my opinion. Hit enter. And now I've created a tag that has these fields and this node, everything just like I typed. So this is my new tag that I just created using the command line. And then there's also set child defaults. What do I mean by this? Let's find out. Set default tag for children. That's what it's technically called, okay? And if I do that, now I can select one or more tags. So let's say I want to tag everything below as a video. Okay, done. So I move in underneath that node and every child should be tagged with video automatically. So we've got a test video. Okay, another video, yet another video automatically tagged by default. If you have anything else you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, cheers.